Hey, this is Bruce Cook, and uh, today we're going to be trying another uh, primo sauce. Um, this is uh, one of two uh, three primo sauces that uh, Philip Emery had purchased and had sent to me as a gift. So yesterday I had done a review and first impressions on uh, first impressions on the Swampadelic sauce, and uh, I gotta say this is possibly this is one of my most favorite sauces I have ever used before. The flavors on this were, was amazing. Later on at, that night after I had done a review of this, I tried this on some chicken and uh, uh, I can swear this was the tastiest sauce I've ever put on chicken before. This this was amazing. I mean, you see how much uh, of this I ended up using. So it was just that spoonful plus I had on my chicken and I won't lie, you know, when I was chilling out on my bed, I had this on my nightstand and I ended up uncapping it and uh, a couple times I took a swig out of it. This stuff is just so good. But uh, tonight, we are going to be reviewing the Primo Army Sauce. So this is, like I said, the other sauce that uh, uh, Philip Emery had purchased and had sent to me as a gift. So this is supposed to be the spiciest sauce that Troy Primo uh, is selling right now. So and, uh, before we do this uh, uh, review on this, I just want to show, I'll uh, give you a quick little peek at my, uh, let me stop this chair. So I had mentioned I was uh, I had all those Carolina Reapers that seven that uh, box that had seven pounds of Carolina Reapers in it. Um, so I got I've been constantly dehydrating these things. I got the entire house smelling like Carolina Reapers. My roommates don't like it too much, but <laughs> at least the capsaicin ain't uh, getting into the air. It's just the aroma. But I have uh, these half gallon jars. There's three of them down there. So I've already uh, su uh, successfully dehydrated um, 100, probably about 150, 160 peppers so far. And I have that pepper powder. Uh, see, I had blended them in this uh, blender. And uh, I put them in, uh, well, I actually had the alcohol and the flakes together when I blended them. So um, I got about 150 uh, peppers worth of powder. In these three jars, I have another bag uh, full of... Uh, it was this dehydrator full. It had finished earlier, and I put the, uh, the pepper flakes. I cut the peppers in quarters, and then I stick them in there. So once this batch is done, um, I'm going to add them to these uh, these jars. And that's uh, Everclear um, grain alcohol. And I'm going to show you how many Reapers... I have gone through so far dehydrating. If you remember, this box was uh, pretty. Uh, I ain't getting very much light in there. If you've seen this uh, box when I had first opened it, there was quite a bit more Reapers in there. So that's how many Reapers I've successfully uh, dehydrated so far. But, anyways, back to the uh, point of the video. So, we're gonna try out this uh, Primo Army sauce. Get this, get my spoon. So, oh, let me get my flashlight. I brought my flashlight over here just so I can read the ingredients. Here, we'll put the uh, spoon down here. Hopefully, I don't drop it. So, I'll give you one more quick look. All right, so we're going to read the ingredients. All right, where are we? There we go. Under the nutritional facts, of course. All right, so first ingredient, seven pot primo pepper mash. Then you have seven pot primo peppers, acidic acid, distilled vinegar, apple cider vinegar, uh, 8% acidity, sugar, salt, honey, lemon juice, concentrate, spices, water, seven pot primo pepper powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. Refrigerate after opening. I'm not sure you're gonna if you're gonna be able to see that, but anyways, let's shut this flashlight off, put it away. All right, so let's open this up. Let's see if we can get this open without accidentally busting the glass. Grab a knife. Oh, we're almost there. 
There we go. Let's get this. Garbage can. Missed as usual. I'm not surprised. Alright, give this a little shake. Make sure it's all mixed up. Let's see, yeah. That looks mixed up enough. Alright, we're gonna uncap this, give it a little smell. And then. I don't want to touch my nose. I, my face has been burning off all day, and it finally calmed down like a half hour ago. <laughs> I don't want to relight my face up. It's very uh, faint, trying to smell it from the bottle. I just touched my nose. So I can I can smell the apple cider vinegar. I don't know why. This, this stuff's pretty faint. Uh, let me shake it up a little bit more. It's pretty faint, uh, trying to sip it from the bottle. I know the Swampadelic sauce, I it, it smell it was really strong. Uh, you know, uncapping it and just smelling it. You know, from the bottle. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it on the spoon, see if maybe we can uh, get a better whip of this stuff on the spoon. So I'll show you the pour. I think I remembered the last one, uh, Swampadelic. I think they had Xanthan gum in it. Right, let me. Set this down. I'm just capping the bottle so I don't have any accidents. I just dripped it on my sweatpants. So this don't have this did uh, list uh, xanthan gum in it, and this is thicker than the uh, swampadelic, and the swampadelic did. So, uh, oh, that wasn't a drip. That was just part of that black plastic. Anyways. I can smell a lot more on the spoon. I am picking up the peppers, the apple cider vinegar, of course. I, I'm very faint, but I can uh, I can sort of smell the garlic. I'm trying to see if I can pick up on that onion powder. I can smell the garlic. I'm not not sm picking up the onion, but anyways we're gonna do a spoonful and let you know what I think so here you go this is uh, Troy Primo's uh, Primo Army Sauce mmm that is very different from the Swampadelic sauce this just has all these uh, flavors coming out I've never tasted in uh, other sauces I haven't got to review very many uh, popular sauces out there. Maybe like less than 15 of them. So, uh, so it's uh, going to be no surprise that I'm going to be picking up on new flavors and some of these higher end sauces that I've never tasted in other sauces before. I really wish I was familiar with so many different spices so I could tell you or, uh, what I'm tasting. Because I'm picking up a lot of flavor, a lot of different flavors uh, coming through. So let's see if I can pick out uh, the flavors that were listed. I can taste apple cider vinegar, but it's not strong. Um, the the peppers, of course, this has got me salivating quite a bit. Oh, I do pick up on the garlic. And I, I do I do get sort of a sugary sweetness. Well, with this one, that was uh, a flavor. Now I was picking up uh, right off the bat. I was getting a, a really strong uh, sweetness coming through right away. As soon as, uh, as soon as I got that swallowed, uh, I could taste uh, some a, a lot of sweetness. And there's other flavors I'm uh, I'm tasting. I just don't know what they are. It is really really good though. Oh, the spice level. Um, I think it's coming on a little stronger than the Swampadelic sauce was. If I remember right, I think I gave the... In the end, I gave the Swampadelic like a 1.5 out of 10. It was uh, like a 1, you know, within like the first 15 seconds. Stayed at a 1 until, uh, I don't know, a few minutes into my review. This one is uh, mostly in the back or underside of my tongue. I'm getting a little bit of burn on the roof of my mouth and the back towards the throat. Um, it's definitely at a one, past the one right now. Uh, a, a much spicier, a good bit spicier than those uh, last stab sauces, that's for sure. <laughs> All 
I can taste. I still had a like a flake of something in the back, uh, like in my uh, cheek area, in the back of my mouth. Just not digging it out with my tongue. Yeah, this is this is uh, both of these sauces. This and the uh, swamp Adelic, way spicier than those uh, last dab sauces. Uh, I couldn't give those. I couldn't even give those a one. It was like how only I think the triple X was a halfway to a one out of ten for me. Mm, both Troy Primo. I'm actually I'm actually feeling endorphins now off of that sauce. I'm starting to feel real fuzzy in my hands and in my head. So I think the I think the uh, the final burn for the Swampadelic sauce was a tiny bit higher than this. Um, it just could be my tolerance right now. You know, uh, I did have I did have supper. Uh, I don't know an hour ago. I had five chicken wings, but I had them covered with uh, my super hot sauces. So there's a chance that might have uh, kind of sabotaged my tolerance coming into this uh, review. So I was uh, burning up quite a bit from those five chicken wings that I ate. Like I could feel it coming through my sweat as I was still eating the chicken wings, and it was burning my face off. It, it was really nice. <laughs> So, I'm, uh, I know this uh, Primo Army is supposed to be a lot uh, spicier than the Swampadelic, but um, I should be giving it a higher rating. But, like I said, after the supper that I had, uh, that might have, uh, you know, notched up my uh, tolerance high enough where uh, it's kind of uh, masking, you know, a lot of the potential heat that I should be getting from the Primo Army sauce. But... I can feel it's the type of uh, type of burn that should have gotten me higher. It's uh, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. Like kind of like a like a stingy feeling, but that's got my uh, that's got my endorphins uh, going right now. I'm feeling really uh, really warm and fuzzy all over. I didn't get that from the Swampadelic yesterday. It's not too often uh, hot sauces will do that for me. Just you know from doing a spoonful. But I, I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> I could just—I I felt the endorphins just uh, come on out of nowhere. So it's got me feeling pretty good. <laughs> so that was the uh, Primo Army sauce. This, both these sauces, every, uh, a lot of people have been saying. Uh, I've been seeing people say recently that you need to get these sauces because they're—they uh, um, get a lot of good reviews. So. I guess you could count on Troy Primo to, you know, the man who created the Seven Pot Primo to come out with something really good. And these, uh, uh this is, uh, Swampadelic is, I, uh, like, for me right now, is my favorite sauce. This is really good, too. This is another sauce that I could, uh, I could use on anything. Like, uh, some of those last stamp sauces, um, I would only probably want to put them on, like, uh, Mexican-style food. I did mention that in my other videos. This, these taste like something you could uh, I could put on anything. I would enjoy on anything I put them put them on. And I've already you know tried the uh, swamp you know on my uh, chicken last night and it was amazing. So yeah, I mean my final my final rating on this is uh, it's just past a one out of ten for me right now. Maybe if I had done it yesterday. Uh, if I had done this yesterday instead of this, I'm sure this would have been a higher rating because this, uh, I feel a sting that comes through with this that I didn't feel with this. I don't know, maybe it's got more uh, higher percentage pepper in it or something. I don't know. But anyways, that was my review of the uh, Troy Primo Primo Army sauce. So I hope you all enjoyed the uh, video, my review, and uh, later on in the week when uh, uh, I, I should have, I don't know. Maybe by Monday I should have all my uh, Reapers dried and uh, stuck into these jars, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just give you an update, and then in the end uh, I'll make one more update after I have uh, finished making the extract. So, But there's my review, and I hope you all enjoyed that video, and I will see you in the next one.